Hello friends! Uh, I have a new song for you this week. Um, so this week I bought this uh, tab music um, from a YouTuber that I watch. I've been watching videos as well to help me learn how to play the ukulele. Uh, and one person that I watch a lot because I really like the way that he teaches the songs is Andrew Gulledge on YouTube. And so he was selling this to help you uh, practice on your own so I bought one for myself so that I could practice the song um, and that's how I've been learning that and I have been doing that with a few of the other songs like the one I played uh, last week um, I had music like that and I have another song that I'm working on that I have uh, it's got the the words for the song and then above it it has all the chords written in that you need. Um, so this is what I've been using. I've actually been working on a few songs this week. Uh, I've been working on, on three uh, because I did, I missed last week. I don't know if anyone noticed. Um, but I, I've been working on these songs and I just didn't feel ready yet. So um, I'm going to play this one for you today and then in a couple days I'm going to have another one for you. Um, and yeah, so be on the lookout for another video in just a couple days. Uh, so today's going to be zippity doo -dah, and um, we're going to talk about strumming a little bit. We haven't talked about that a lot. As a beginner, strumming has been really hard for me. It's been hard for me to um, strum and sing and change chords. It's really hard to have to keep that all straight in your head, so it's okay if you're also having trouble with that, um, because we're all learning together. So, um, for strumming, for this song, we're just gonna do regular downbeats, um, but in my next video, in a couple days, you're actually gonna see me doing down up, So I use just my thumb for strumming. Some people put their fingers together like this. Almost like they're holding a pick. And they strum like that. Some people will use their thumb to strum down and their finger to strum up. Um. For right now, with having to keep everything straight in my mind, it's been easier for me just to use my thumb. So whatever is easiest for you, whether it be just your thumb, or your thumb and your finger, or your fingers put together like this, like you're holding a pick. Um, and so today we're just going to do regular down strums for every beat. Uh, and let's talk about the chords that we're going to need for this song. So in this song, we're going to need the chord G. We're going to need C. We're going to need D. We're going to need D7. We're going to need A. So G, we've played this one before. Put your second finger on the second fret of the first string your first finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. That's how you get G. For C, we played this one before. You take third finger, press it down on the third fret of the first string. That's C. For D, this one is probably one of the hardest chords I've learned so far. So you're gonna bar all of the strings on the second fret. And by bar, I mean you're going to take your first finger, and you're going to lay it over the strings on the second fret. Remember, the frets are the where the silver lines are, so this is the first fret. You're going to put it on the second fret and press down, so you're pressing down all the strings. Then, I use my third finger, <clears throat> and you're going to press down first string, fifth fret. And that's going to get you... Now sometimes, if you're not pushing down all the way, uh, it can get...
get we can get weird tangy sounds if you if you're strumming too hard like that one I just strummed a little too hard um, so you really want to make sure and it's okay if you make mistakes it's our first time playing so um, just really I've been really practicing this chord a lot trying to get comfortable with it so that's D and then for D7 we're just gonna lift up our third finger we're gonna put our second finger down on the third fret of that first string and that gives us D7 so this is D and D7 and then the last chord we need is A so for the beginning of this song for the chorus we start on G and we're gonna play zippity do da change to C zippity back to G A back to C my own G. My, what a wonderful D7. A. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo da. D. Zippity A. And that gets us through the whole. So then for the verse, we start on D, and we're going to go, Mr. Bluebird's on my shoulder, it's the truth, it's actual, everything is satisfactual, zippity do da So I'm going to play through the whole song for you now. So here is zippity doo da. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine had in my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Mr. Blue on my shoulder it's the truth it's actual everything is satisfactual zippity doo da zippity hey wonderful feeling wonderful day zippity doo da zippity enjoyed that song friends and I will see you in a couple days with another one